All right, so I'm assuming you're coming to this video. You're like, man, Sturman keeps killing me. I am struggling with them. I need my tack 30 kill or just your Sturman kill with the key. I need some help to uh, any tips. Help me. I got you. I got you. All right, so assuming you probably have hunting trip, maybe you've already gotten your storm and kill and your key, and now you need to do hunting trip, and you're like, man, I am struggling to get that that kill from 75 meters away with the M700. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did it this wipe. Um, range finder is very important. I highly recommend you get a range finder. If you do not have one, You, um, I, I highly recommend getting one, or you can also put one on your scope itself. So you're going to go ahead and go over here, go to... Um, where, where you make your gun, right? And you're going to want to grab this right here. Put your TAC-30 in it. And you're going to want to put that rangefinder on the top of it. So just like that right there. So while you're aiming down your sights, you always actually know the distance at which you're shooting. And you cannot mess up this kill. It is not possible for you to mess up this kill um, range-wise. So I highly recommend running this right here. It makes it very easy. You just... Get the distance. You're like, all right, good enough. 75 meters. Let's go ahead and, and, and get that Sturman kill. So what I recommend right there, boom, this is the build I'd recommend for um the the hunting trip. If you need your one Sturman kill, I mean, you can you can run a bad boy like this right here, slap a scope on it, and just lay him out. The ammo for Sturman is very basic. His guards are not that geared when it comes to their heads. Always go for headshots. Flesh ammo, M80, M62, BT. If you guys watch my, my, my boss videos... A very common theme. It's always pretty much the same ammos and calibers. You want to run 760 by 51 or 760 by 54. Um, I don't recommend PS12B um, or the AS12 due to the muzzle velocity being very slow. It is a very slow round. It's not easy to shoot at from a distance. Um, so M80, M62, and any round that is 760 by 54. It, it doesn't need to be BT. It's just what I have because I kill a farm. Um, so boom. This is the M700, and I will go ahead and show how I take him on in woods. All right, so you spawn into woods. You're going to want to be watching the top right of your screen at 3948. You want to be watching for Pakalos. If you get Pakalos, he is not in your raid. If you do not get Pakalos at 3948, he can be in your raid. It can be him. It could be the goons. Um, depending if you're playing nighttime, it could be cultists. Um, it just know that it, he does not always spawn when you get no packet loss, but if you get packet loss, he is never there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set up my range finder. There you go up at the top right there. You can see everything I look at, it will tell me the range on it. And if you free look while sniping, you can look up and see what your range is at. So I'm looking at this tree, 65 meters away. I look at that tree, 76. And that's what I need to kill Sturman from right there. All right. So, we're going to head towards the uh, lumber mill, and we'll get into it. Alright, so, due to the nature of this quest being needing to kill Sturman from a distance, I recommend getting up on a rock or something from a decent distance away so we're gonna go ahead and try the spine rock here and uh see if we can get an angle on him so you want to check around he, he spawns anywhere within the compound okay so right there you can see a guard i'm gonna go ahead and look up 230 meters away i'm gonna go ahead and range for that our range at 200 and we're gonna go and see if we can headshot this guard here right, i'm shooting a little bit too high there we go. One guard dead. We're looking for movement. We're looking for anything moving around. A uh, quick tip while sniping. If you hold left click after shooting and you don't let go, you can actually um, zoom in and out without any audio. And uh, you don't have to pull the bolt back and your screen shakes a bit. You might be able to miss Sturman moving around. And there is one more guard somewhere in the compound, so 
You do have to be careful of that. Once both guards are dead, here we go. Once both guards are dead, we are free to do whatever we like. Alright, there we go. Both guards are dead. It is just a 1v1 against Sturman and I. I just gotta figure out where he is and get that get that 75 meter shot on him. Alright, there we go. We got Sturman right there. 119 meters. We're we'll waiting for him to turn and go ahead and pop him. With. There we go. Boom. Just like that. We got the kill. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But having the rangefinder on the top of the scope is a absolute game changer. You see him, double check the range and pop him so you can never make a mistake and get that 74 meters and have your quest not count. Um, but yeah, guys, that's how uh, it's done for Sturman. Um, if you guys have any questions, I do stream almost every single day on Twitch. Feel free to stop by the stream, ask away. It could be about bosses, Sturman, it can be whatever. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Enjoy your day, nights, evenings, mornings, whatever it might be. I will catch you guys in the next one. <gasps> Peace.